When we do what we fear the most, the death of fear is certain. That's a quote by Ralph Waldo Emerson. I released a guy an inbox inquiry from this guy who has pearly penile papulus. And this is a condition where you get some just bumps around your cock. Um, some just kind of some spots, some bumps. You could Google it and search it if you want, where you get some bumps around your cock. And the thing is, it's not an STD. It's not contagious. There's nothing wrong with it if you actually do the research. But um, in this guy's message he sent to me, he told me that he was extremely depressed. He's extremely embarrassed about this condition, that he has all this bottled up emotion towards it that's creating this huge veil, veil of depression all around his life. He's afraid to even talk to girls because he thinks if he talks to girls, they'll eventually lead to sex. And when he has sex with the girl, the girl would be really embarrassed. He would be really embarrassed, and the girl would laugh at him and be, ah, what's, well, where are those cocks? What are those bumps in your dick? And it would be this huge nightmare, and he's created this monster in his mind about how these pearly penals are affecting his life. And he hasn't told anyone except me through message that he has this problem. And he even said that he's scared shitless to see a doctor. <laughs> All right, my friend. First of all, I'm gonna share with you some wisdom that I kind of got from Elliot Hulse. And second of all, I'm gonna share how I actually had pearly penile papulas myself once. Um, so first, just the Elliot Hulse wisdom is you definitely need to go see this doctor. You definitely need to go see a doctor. That's my like objective advice for you. And the reason you need to see a doctor is not necessarily for what the doctor's gonna tell you. Not we're gonna get out of the appointment, but the true big main reason why you need to see your doctor is because of the character traits associated with whatever story you have to tell yourself to summon up the courage to take this fear that you're going to develop from seeing your doctor. This is a fear you have. And when you have a fear in life, that's life telling you that you need to move towards that fear. It doesn't even matter why you even have this fear. Maybe it's irrational. It's not about the doctor. It's not about your penis. It's about you having this fear and you need to move towards that fear. And if you go, if you pussy out and don't go talk to your doctor and show your doctor your dick, then that fear, that character imbalance that this fear is embodying will manifest in other areas of, of your life. Uh, you'll be too much of a pussy to ask that girl out on a date. You'll be too much of a pussy to ask your boss for a raise. You'll be too much of a pussy to deal with personal sensitive issues and relationships in, later on in your life. So do this just for the fact of moving towards your fear and do this for the character that you will develop associated with summing up the courage to tackle this problem that you have all this fear built up towards for no reason really. Alright, so actually um, I've actually suffered from sexual dysfunction earlier on in my life and I remember um, the first time I like it was a huge depressive thing for me. The first time I saw my doctor I was going to tell him I actually pussied out. I was like, yeah, I've had some allergies before and like I was talking about some other stuff and at the end of the appointment I was going to tell him that I had some I thought I had a broken penis. I talk about this in some of my other videos. I'll probably go into it more into it more into it in the future. But actually I when the time came for me to tell the doctor that I had this sexual dysfunction, my heart went thump 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 and I didn't tell him. Even at the end of the appointment the doctor said, "Is there anything else you want to talk about, Luke?" And I said, "Nope." Walked out of the appointment. So I completely understand. I remember driving home that day and I was so mad at myself, so mad at life, I actually almost ran the red light. I remember slamming on the bricks. It was really pissed off. I did not summon the courage to face my fear. Now later on I summoned the courage to face my fear. I ended up seeing lots of doctors and like going through this whole ordeal, face that fear. And that really helped develop my character. So this is a the way I see this is a huge opportunity, a very safe opportunity for you to develop your character. This is this is pretty easy, man. But at the same time, I completely understand how this is an, an embarrassing issue for you. It's a sexual issue, it's embarrassing, it's hard. But see this as the perfect opportunity to face that fear and see your doctor. And because of that early, earlier experience with me, um, having some, uh, thinking I had a broken penis, for me it's actually very comfortable for me to like drop my pants in front of a doctor and like talk about this sort of shit. I make fucking videos about this sort of shit, about broken penises, sexual dysfunction, all the sexual stuff. It's really no big deal at all. The fact is doctors see like 30 penises a week. <laughs> and they deal with penises, vaginas, sexual dysfunction all the time. And actually, one day, like a year ago, I saw some bumps on my dick. And I actually 
I went to my doctor. It was no big deal. I just dropped my fucking pants. Shit my doctor my dick. It was no big deal at all. Your fear is irrational, bro. But I completely understand because I used to have the same fear that I had to go through. And I went through that fear. So, and so this time, I showed my doctor my dick and he actually said, I actually have a condition called pearly penile papulus. So I actually had the problem that you had. And he explained to me that it was no big deal at all. It's kind of just like acne or something. It's something that isn't contagious. It's not an STD. It's just kind of an aesthetic problem. And he said, don't bother it at all. And just the fact that I got the confirmation from the doctor to not worry about it really cleaned my mind because I was freaking out. What are these bumps on my cock? So I got that confirmation. My mind is really eased. I was glad that I took action on this. It wasn't a fear at the time for me. It was easy. You just pull down your pants and show the doctor your dick, dude. But earlier on, when I summoned the courage to first see my doctor about my sexual dysfunction, I actually told him it was such a huge emotional release. And my character developed because I was chasing my fear. Right? And that's what's important for you. Um, is developing that character associated with going after what you're most afraid of. Seeing your doctor and tackling this embarrassing problem. You need to do it, bro. But the funny thing is, I remember asking my doctor, well, isn't it kind of weird I have these weird aesthetic bumps on my dick? And my doctor actually, uh, like the pearly penile papulas is such a kind of a joke issue, like it's nothing at all, that my doctor actually said if a girl does for some reason actually mention it, that he, my doctor said to just say, oh, those bumps are, those bumps will just give you extra pleasure. <laughs> those are just bumps to help you have a better orgasm. Like that, my doctor was actually joking around with me if that event happened to occur, that's the joke I would use to say to the girl. Like, it's no big deal at all. So, summon the courage for the sake of developing the character associated with facing your fear and becoming the strongest version of yourself. I'm prescribing you to go so you <laughs> I'm prescribing you to go show your doctor your cock. Peace out. <laughs>